Yeah, the main message here is that, of course, uh, relapse or refractory AML is, is a catastrophe for the, the patient. You see, and every hematologist dealing with leukemia patients has already faced this situation. You see, so it's a, a situation where the patient feels uh, close to death and we are, there are not many, many uh, therapies you can still offer. And the major hope you have in that situation is that you can offer stem cell transplantation. You see, on the other hand, this situation very often occurs in patients who are too old to get a transplant. So that in those patients who have very rapidly to switch from transplantation to palliative care. You, see, you have to be open. You see, you, there are two, two, two ways you see uh, the, the, uh, the road can follow. You see, it's uh, from a curative approach to an approach maybe end of life. You see, and uh, in that situation, uh, it's especially a problem if you have a young patient. You see, not an 80 year old, you see. If the 80 year old will accept that everybody has to die and, and but the young patient with family with children maybe still f had, had expectations to live for another 40 years or 50 years and uh, so you have to choose very carefully to be aggressive enough to have a chance to cure the patient unfortunately we know we still know too little too little about the mechanisms of resistance in acute leukemia a lot that we have to still to learn to, about the molecular mechanisms, about the, the bone marrow environment surrounding the leukemic cells, you see. Up to now, we very much concentrate on the, the malignant cells itself, you see. On the other hand, from oncology, from solid tumor oncology, we know that quite often it's a lot more successful to treat the supportive microenvironment. Let's say in kidney cancer, you, you, you treat not the uh, kidney cancer cells, but you uh, treat the surrounding cells to, to, uh, so that the malignant cells die off because they are not supported anymore. I think that's something we only touched a little bit here. You see, we had two presentations on it, on the involvement of the microenvironment, but that's something that will come in the future. And uh, that we, uh, I myself personally, have a lot of expectations.